Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about three signs that God is telling you to move. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. in the Bible, God sent men and women to move to different places so that they can come to their new season in life. Ruth and Naomi moved to a different place when the season in their life came that Naomi lost all her sons. And then after Ruth moved, she came into a new season where she met Boaz. There was also a point in the Bible when God told Abraham to move to a land that he would show him. And he promised that Abraham's descendants would be as the stars in the sky. And I want to go to that passage of scripture today. It says in Genesis 12 verses 1 through 2, the Lord said to Abraham, go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I personally have done a lot of moving in the recent past two years. My family and I just moved from Atlanta, Georgia down to Florida last year and I recognize there are specific things that showed me it's time to move. It's time to go. God is sending you to a new place. And I found it so interesting that God told Abraham, separate from your people. Separate from your family and the people and the relationships that you are used to. And that brings me to my first point. One of the first signs that God is telling you to move is that some of the relationships that you originally had with the people at the place you're at, you may not have those relationships anymore. He may be ending some relationships. And even if you do have certain strong relationships, God is still telling you to move. He's not just separating you from that place. He's not just telling you to move from a place or a land, but he's telling you to move away from those relationships. Some of you guys, you still live at home with your parents, but you finish school, you finish college, you're at home, you're working, you're in your career, and God is saying, now I want you to spread your wings. Now I want you to step in faith. Now it is time to move. But you love mama's cooking. You love staying rent-free. And all of that is great. For a season, it's the right thing. For a season, it's okay as much as you can save, as much as you can stay with family. But Jesus says, in your own city, in your own town, those are the people who won't respect you. Those are the people who won't recognize you. And sometimes it's the people close to you who won't recognize the new thing that God is doing in your life. And sometimes you need to separate from certain relationships. You need to separate from some people who are close to you because God is bringing you to a new place. And in order for him to bring you to that new place, you can't stay in the comfort of your past relationships. You can't stay in the comfort of being babied. You can't keep running back to mommy and daddy or running back to those old friends or running back to those old co-workers and asking for their opinion about everything. God told me to do this. What do you think about it? Do you think I should do this? Or do you think it's a dumb idea? And instead of being obedient to God and instead of doing what he tells you to do, you place more value and more emphasis off of people's opinions. Opinions. And when you come to that place where you're kind of stagnant and you're paralyzed because you have the fear of man, you're afraid of what people will think, you're afraid of separating from people, a lot of times it's in those seasons where God will call you to move. He's like, okay, you are too tied to people. I need to move you to a place where you will be by yourself. I need to move you to a place where there's no distractions. There's not all these voices, but you can hear me clearly. I need to move you to a place where you can trust me. I need to isolate you. Some of you guys feel like you moved and now you're in a season of isolation. You may say, God, I do not have any friends. God, I do not, not know anybody. But in this season, you're drawing closer to him. In this season, you're learning to hear 
through his voice. There will be a season where he sends the right community, where he sends people who will help you build, help your vision, will push you closer to him. But in this season, for some of you, God just wants you to be separate. He doesn't want you to rely on the relationships. He doesn't want you to rely on the opinions of others. It is time to move, beloved. So that's confirmation for some of you guys who you know God has called you to move, but you're like, but what about my best friend? Or, but what about, you know, my family? I'm the one who helps them, you know, pay their bills. or I'm the one who has to take care of them. I know God called me to move here, but they need me. They need me. Honey, they need God. And God will take care of them. You are not responsible over them unless they're your kids. Don't leave your kids behind now. (laughs) But some of us, we like to take on this persona of superhero. We like to be everyone's savior. And we like to take on a lot of responsibilities of everyone else. And we're so busy trying to please everyone else and serve everyone else that we never get busy about God's business. We never get busy about doing what he has called us to do. So honey, God is calling you to a different place and it might just be time to move. So that is the first sign that it is time to move when God wants to separate you from certain relationships in your life. The second sign that it might be time to move is that you're running out of space. God is, he wants to enlarge your territory Everything is too small. You're just running out of space. You're growing. You're getting to the next level. And this is one of the recent signs that it's t- it was time for me and my family to move and find a home. You know, we've enjoyed our time here staying with my in-laws. I love them so much. They are Jamaican, so they be throwing down like that curry chicken, jerk chicken, like they they are amazing. I love them so much. But just we were just running out of space. We're a growing family. My daughter's getting bigger. My son's getting bigger. We're a family of four and I don't have enough space to put like some of my clothes. Like we're literally like tight. It's really tight. You know, when we first came it was okay, but over time we're starting to run out of space. We can feel the space getting tighter and God is sending us to a new place now. He's sending us to a new space that we'll be able to fit in and we'll be able to grow our family in. And some of you guys, God is saying that last season, there's no space anymore. You're in a place where there's no space anymore. I'm bringing you to a new place. I'm expanding your territory. There's new things coming. And I'm not just speaking naturally, but spiritually. There's new things happening in the spirit. I'm bringing you to a new place in me. I'm bringing you to a new territory. It's time to move. It's time to expand. I feel God saying some of you are in churches where You've run out of space. You've learned everything that you needed to learn. But now he wants to expand. He wants you to go to another level. He's sending you to a different ministry. He's sending you to a different church. Because right now you've reached your max. You're not going to grow. You're not going to grow outside of this. You need to go to a different place. He's sending you to a different place and he's enlarging your territory because right now you feel so big you're in this small space and you're getting hungry you're hungry for spiritual revelation you're hungry to learn more and you're not getting what you need because you're growing big you're growing big in this small space and he's sending you to another ministry he's sending you to another church so I just felt that word for someone in particular but one of the signs that it's probably time to move is You are growing out of space, honey. Like It's time to expand your territory, expand your mind, expand onto greater and bigger things. And the third sign that God may be saying it's time to move is he'll open that door in the right season. God may be telling you it's time to move eventually, but you have to know the right season and the right time. If God is speaking to you about moving eventually or at some point, but he doesn't open a door, Don't try to push down the door or make it happen yourself. When he really wants someone to move, he'll orchestrate everything. I've heard him give jobs last minute, jobs that have twice the pay, you know, open up living situations. He'll just open up the door. It'll happen. He'll take care of it. He'll orchestrate your path. He'll set a way in a path before you. He will make a way. It says in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19, see I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? 
I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. When it's time to move, when God is doing that new thing in your life, he will make a way in the wilderness. You may be like, how is it going to work out, God? He is going to make a way. He is going to bring the streams in the wasteland. He's going to bring the streams of income. He's going to bring the open doors so you don't have to open up that door yourself. So I hope that this gave you confirmation to take that leap of faith. If God has been speaking to you about moving, I hope that you found this video helpful. If if you did leave it a thumbs up and if it's your first time on my channel do not forget to subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next youtube video until next time bye